When you travel, you are probably looking at ways on how to bring those experiences and memories home with you. And souvenirs are a great way to do that. And in this video, we'll show you 10 of our recommendations for when you come to Hungary. Let's do this! Now, if you've been to a Hungarian restaurant, someone will probably told you to drink palinka. And there are so many of these out there. If there's a fruit, we'll basically make palinka out of it. If you want to buy a really good quality one, just check the prices. You can go to any convenience store. The really pricey ones will be definitely good. Cheap ones, try to avoid those, okay? If you go for something right in the middle, that should be all good. But we are not starting with this. Today we will actually drink a little bit of unicum. But let's talk about this small boy here. No human being enjoys this one. This is the regular unicum. And they come in smaller sizes. They have nice looking glasses. So they are nice on your shelf. This bad boy here is actually good. I really enjoy this. They take the regular unicum and they just put it in old oak barrels that used to have Tokai wine in them. This is actually a Tokai wine right over here. We're gonna have a look at that later on. But somehow that turns the, well, the acquired taste unicum into something brilliant. Now we also have some foods and snacks here and this is a digestive. We Hungarians drink something like this before we eat. So yeah, let's do that. Cheers to you. So let's continue talking about alcohol. And maybe you don't want to drink something really strong like this one. I already start to feel it in my head. Maybe you want a wine. And in Hungary we have many kinds of wine regions. So if you would like to drink some white wine or red wine, we have some recommendations for you. For example, we have the Badacsony region. And we actually made a video about our trips in that area. We were drinking quite a lot of white wine there. And this one is actually from that trip. I really enjoyed this. So if you like white wine, Stuff from the Badacsony region will definitely be to your liking. However, if you are a red wine person, maybe you want something from Eger. For example, this one is from our last trip when we went to Eger. Again, we have a video about that. From there, I would recommend a Egri Bikaver, a bull's blood. It's a heavy cuvee, but sounds amazing. You're drinking bull's blood, right? There's one other region for red enthusiasts, and that is the Villain region, where we have some nice Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc. I have absolutely no idea about these stuffs, but I really enjoy the wine that we have from Villain. However, one thing for sure, if you want a really special wine, then try something from Tokai, like a Tokai Osu. Now, this is a sweet dessert wine, so if you enjoy more sweeter tastes, you'll really enjoy that. We actually call this the wine of the kings. But perhaps you're not a wine person. Then you might want to look at the beer selection. And by beer selection, I don't mean to grab the most, you know, common beer kinds like the Dreher, Schoproni, Borscheli. No, 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 no. What you should go for are the craft beers. Now, this is only two of all the many kinds of local craft beers that we have, but they are amazing. And there are some cheaper ones, some more expensive ones, but go out to a craft beer bar, for example, and try some of these for yourself and see which one of them would you actually buy and take home. But just look at them. I love the designs. I love the tastes. Now that we have covered all the alcohol we have on this table, let's talk about food and more precisely the Hungarian flavor and how to elevate your dishes at home to bring out that Hungarian paprika flavor. Now, the obvious thing you will spot on this table is the paprika powder. This is our red gold. We put this in a lot of our dishes. I actually have a hard time to remember what dish we have that doesn't have paprika in it, but it makes things taste really good. So if you want to elevate your dishes at home, this is where to start. Now, you will find more kinds in the convenience stores. Some of them will be sweet, some of them will be spicy or they could also be smoked. However, there are three other ways you can introduce the Hungarian flavors to your kitchen. 
One of them is Erős Pista, or if you want to translate this, it's Strong Steve. It's basically a paprika cream that's also very salty and very spicy. So if you want to bring heat to your dishes, this is an excellent way. However, as I said, it is very salty. So probably try this, put it in to your dish before you use your salt. Next, we have Piroshorany, which is literally red gold. Now, we used to put this as children onto our sandwiches to bring in that really nice sweet paprika flavor. This one is Chemege. If you see Chemege, that means it's gonna be sweet. If this will say here Chipus, that will mean spicy. And last but not least, if you enjoy goulash soup and want to introduce that taste into your stews, then the goulash paste is an excellent way to do that. All right, so next let's talk about food that we can actually taste. And the best way to do that is to share it with someone. Boom! So here we have my lovely producer and she will help me to talk a little bit about food. Because most of the time I'm struggling with that. I'm the one cooking usually. So what's next on our list? Pick. Pick, let's pick the, I think the best salami in the world. Well, especially in Hungary. This here is my favorite salami. It's coming from a city called Seged. If you look at it from the outside, you see it's white. And that's because of all the bacteria and mold that's eating and creating this nice salami. So let's cut this bad boy open, shall we? Yeah, and let's see how it looks from the inside. Now it's very important before you eat this to actually remove yes. the outside, remove the mold. Also, I don't know the laws of every single country, so make sure to check if you can actually take meat products back home. But if you can, this is great. Cheers! <laughs> oh my god, this smells amazing. Mm. Fat makes everything better. In, in small portions, I do think that you can eat this without bread. It's amazing. Probably tonight we will open up one of these and then we'll have a few slices mm. of these here as well. And also maybe some sausages. This might be a big in size. So there are even smaller portions that you can buy. Uh, even these very tiny long ones. Uh, it's just, you know, for to go as a snack. Definitely go for the original teri yeah. salami, the winter salami. Let's continue. Next, we'll continue talking about meat. And more precisely, sausages. You probably know that I love Hungarian sausages. Everyone and there are, does. There are two kinds that I can definitely recommend. Yes. The Julai and the Choboi. Now, before we cut these, can you tell me what's the difference between these two here? Oh my God, you put me on the spot. So the difference is that each of them have a bit of a different spices. And I think it's also important to note that both of these can only be produced in Gyula or Békés Csaba, nowhere else in the country. So you're tasting Csabai. I'm tasting Csabai. I'm first. tasting Gyulai. Let's see. They smell amazing. Mm. This on its own is amazing with a little bit of mustard and some white bread. Mm. Mm. Yes. That's the breakfast of champions. Yeah. And the difference, maybe you don't see it here, but my lovely husband will do a close-up, is that uh, Jula is more darker and Chabai is more paprika red in terms of color. I know we should not choose, <laughs> but I like Jula better. I think it's a bit more meaty flavor. I don't know, maybe it sound, sounds weird, but for me it's more meaty and less uh, chunky than chabai. Honestly, I like both. Obviously. But if you do try one of these, which one did you like best? Tell us in the comments below. Now, when it comes to snacks, desserts, chocolates, biscuits, whatsoever, there are two different kinds that we can talk about. One is the easy convenience store items and we only choose just a handful of those brands here. Probably we will need you know, a different video to cover yeah. all of those. But there are also items which have more known, more famous brandings like Samosh and Stümer. But first let's start with the simpler and easier items. Sportselet. I used to love this when I was a child because it has such a distinct mm. taste. Because and, it has rum in it. Yep. Yeah. Mm. It has a nice chewy texture, 
it's I, unique. I would say it's a very, very basic brownie. <laughs> Next, let's take the road to Balaton. To me, it's all about the refreshing, easy taste that it has. Why do you say refreshing? Because it's not dense, because it's a waffle. Because this here is, is an easy waffle, indeed. Okay. This is the very traditional version for Balaton, but they have also already different kinds. ASMR. The next one is Pilota, and they have all kinds of different products. Today we wanted to show you something else, but uh, we just realized today that it's in shortage, and we are kind of sad because that's our favorite one. This, of course, also tastes amazing. The other one is basically the Hungarian Oreo. Yeah. And, you know, for us, naturally, it's better than Oreo. But as a child, I used to have this. And what's really cool is that there was a method on how to remove this from the box. Like this. <laughs> it was probably just you doing that, no? <laughs> This is a vanilla circle that also has some chocolate on it, but the vanilla flavor is the more dominant one. It's very nice, it's easy. It's really hard to stop eating this, actually. Yes, and it's even better if you, you know, even drink some coffee or cacao or, yeah, even tea, because obviously it's a bit dry after a while, so you need to something to drink with. Now, when it comes to Stümer and then later Samosh, what they are really famous for is their chocolate that is filled with marzipan. Nice little bonbons that are filled with nice I am so full. <laughs> mm. Mm. So if you're looking for some unique desserts, unique sweets mm -hmm. to take back home, these things are unique. We are really famous for this for some yes. reason. It's not too sweet, so it's uh, quite nice, I have to say. But Stümer also makes regular chocolates. I mean, look at this design. It's really a nice yeah. gift. You have the Hungarian motives here. And if you don't like marzipan, then this is also a good thing. Because it it's looks just nice. chocolate. Now, we may not open this up because we're starting to be full. But if you want the real deal, you go for Samos. There are actually some stores that are dedicated to Stümer and Samos all over the city. If you go there, you can have any one of their great products. But even in convenience stores, we actually bought this in a convenience store. It was a very nice experience to join this food section of the souvenir video. Maybe I will just... No! Now that I'm all alone again, I will have one more of this lovely unicum here. And then we'll talk about something that maybe your kids gonna love. Kids love sweets, but those will be gone in no time. So you might want to look for something like that toy. And one thing that we can recommend is a Hungarian cartoon character called the Checkered Eared Bunny. We used to love this when we were children. We saw it in the television. We had some books about the journeys and stories of this little cute rabbit. There are obviously some larger ones you can buy in the city, but we have this small one right here on our shelf. Now, Hungary is also very famous for the porcelain products, and you can find things like Zsuenai, Herendi, or Holohazi. These items will last for a lifetime. I mean, some of these we bought recently, and some of them belonged to my grandparents, basically. Now, you might think that, oh, but these are a little bit, you know, too fancy for me. But you can also get things that are more simpler. This is actually one of my favorite espresso cups that we have here at home, and it is from Joanai. You can also get some jewelry, for example. This is a Herendi jewelry thing. This also belonged to my grandmother. So maybe these are items that probably old folk will like, but we also enjoy having some of these here because they do bring back some of those warm memories that we have, that we have spent with our parents and grandparents. Now, the last thing that we want to mention is not a thing at all. It's actually a collection of items, basically. Folk art or anything that has the Hungarian motives on them. Like, for example, this little guy here. So whatever you find with these lovely little flowers, these are actually things that here in Eastern Europe are quite popular. But there are some that are traditionally Hungarian, like the kolocsai, 
the macho himzés, all of these things, these patterns, these are very much Hungarian and you can get some really nice items. Like for example, this one, we just got this morning and I will probably put this in a frame and hang it on my wall because it looks lovely. Now you might be asking, okay, Akros, but where do I get all of these things? Now, if you go to places like Váci Utca or the city center, you will find a ton of souvenir shops. However, most of them will just probably sell you garbage, like a Rubik's Cube, come on, that's made in China. Yes, Ernő Rubik was Hungarian and it is a cool toy, but you can buy that anywhere. Why would you buy that here in Hungary? There are some souvenir shops that sell really nice, you know, local folk art, local things that are made here and you can easily check them out. If you go to the description, we actually have some addresses if you want to visit those shops where we actually got maybe this one, for example, or this one here. So these were our souvenir recommendations for you. Hope when you guys come to Hungary, you will have a great time. And at the end, you can take something maybe delicious, something sweet, or maybe something cute home with you. Thank you very much for watching. Watch our other videos to get more ideas about Hungary and see you guys in our future content. Bye!